Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank to organizers for giving me an opportunity to present my work here. So in this talk, I'd like to talk about uh, small data temporal decay of a global solution of angiogenesis model. And if time allows me, then I will move on to the parabolic audit system with logarithmic chemotactic sensitivity. So I, I changed the title of my talk, and sorry about that, but I will mainly talk about angiogenesis model. So, what is the chemotaxis? Chemotaxis is the, as you heard in conference, uh, influence of the chemotaxis substance on the movement of the motile species. And uh, Keller and Siegel in 1971 uh, proposed this kind of reaction diffusion equation uh, modeled on the chemotaxis phenomena. So, uh, let me introduce two public OD type Keller system, what I am interested in. So, first one is Anderson Chaplin model. Uh, I will call this system as NFC angiogenesis system. And, second one is the Keller model with a logarithmic chemosex chemotactic sensitivity here, and uh, non-diffusive chemical. I will call this system as parabolic OD lambda system. Here is a lambda power factor. So let me introduce angiogenesis system more precisely. Uh, so I don't know the deeper biological meaning of this system, but the thing I can tell you is that uh, here is a tumor, and here is a blood vessel. And tumor secretes some tumor angiogenic factor C. which induce the EC, EC is here, and the thorium cell. Migrate into, migrate into ECM extracellular matrix here, toward tumor. Um, extracellular matrix ECM is a kind of a barrier of EC. Okay. And the fibronectin F, okay, thank you. Oh. The fibronectin factor F is known that uh, fibronectin factor F enhance EC adhesion to collagen and produced by EC itself. Right. So, therefore, chemotactic sensitivity effect influence on the migration of EC and also EC migration is regulated by heterotactic effect of fibronectin. Okay. So, there's a lot of results about global existence. If omega spatial domain is bounded, then with this kind of one side condition, we can prove the existence of solution which exist globally in time. Uh, sorry. So, if F is initially in this 
upper side, then F stays in this upper side for all time. And formally, if F is initially in this lower part, then F stays in this lower part for all time, as long as solution exists. And another simple angiogenesis system is the following. If we ignore the fibronectin factor, then we can consider this kind of NC angiogenesis system. Okay. For this system, Korias and Potham and Jacques, uh, in 2003 and 2004, they proved the uh, global existence of the solution. Okay. And if the initial condition, if initial data is small in this L D over 2 norm, then an infinite norm of N is bounded for all time. That C is independent on time. Okay. The proof of their result is uh, relies on this energy structure and uh, the thing you can you should remember is that they use this kind of the condition on chemotactic sensitivity. And recently, in, 2000, in 2012, Possum and Basso proved that if dimension is rather than two, then rather than or equal to two, then uh, with this smallest condition on LD over two, solution decays in time. Okay, but for more than three dimensions, the decay rate seems not optimal, right? So I and uh, Kyunggun Gang and Myungyun Kim, Myungyun Kim is foremost student of the Kyunggun Gang, proved that this kind of global instance theory. And moreover, solution belongs to the class. So we can, we can tell N has a T to the minus T over two time decay. Okay. But we need this kind of more stronger initial condition. Right? As you've seen, as I mentioned that, Potham and Basso uh, prove the time decay with the smallest condition on the initial condition in LD over 2 norm. But we need more smallest condition on initial condition. Right? So this kind of theorem can be applied to NC angiogenic system. And so compared to Possem and Basso's results, we need stronger smallest assumption on initial data to get uh, faster temporal decay of solution. And, but we don't need the one side condition of F0 and the condition on chemotactic sensitivity. Okay? And it might be uh, optimal decay since this decay rate is of the heat equations. The proof of the theorem is the following. So uh, first of all, we rewrite the system to uh, single integral equation. Uh, solving this C ODE, solving ODE, we get C and F and grad C and grad F like this. And then plugging these things to the integral equation of N, we have this kind of single integral equation of N, right? And then using this kind of lemma, this lemma is crucial, we prove the 
<coughs> theorem by using a successive approximation. So we construct a sequence by this recursive relation. The sequence, the function, the sequence of a function is begin with this e to the t Laplacian A. Here, e to the t Laplacian is the heat semi-group, and A is the initial data of N. So from this initial function, we can get F0 and C0, and plugging N0, F0, C0 into this right hand side, we have N sub 1. And do, do that uh, repeatedly, we can construct a sequence of function. And then we want to show the that sequence is in Bana space, and indeed, Cauchy sequence in X, S sub infinity. S sub infinity is this norm has this norm and this norm. So let me skip uh, the details of the proof. Uh, eventually, we have uh, okay this kind of thing. So. And M L N infinity norm of N M multiplying by T to the T over two is bounded and uniformly on M. And also uh, we have right and X sub infinity norm of N sub M plus one T norm is bounded by this kind of thing. So we can get uh, this kind of bounded uniformly on M, so we can get these sequences in always X of infinity, and similarly we have N sub M is Cauchy sequence in X of infinity. Okay. So uh, let me discuss about the parabolic lambda system here. This system is related to the, the self-interacting uh, reinforced random walk. So if the diffusion effect of chemical is very local nature, then we can consider this type of calorcity equation. Uh, this probably OD lambda system is proposed by Angela Stevens in 1995. Okay. She focused on the effect on the power factor lambda. Other parameters are fixed. And if lambda, for bigger lambda, we can see that uh, more lambda makes uh, solution more aggregative, right? Similarly, chemical more aggregative when lambda is bigger. Okay. Rigorously, when lambda is zero for any dimension, Yang Chen Yu in 2001 proved that the solution exists globally for any dimension, right? The idea of proof is following. Uh, finding this kind of heat equation type equation uh, using maximal principle, u over w is bounded, right? Then w is bounded by the second equation, right? Then u is also bounded. And similarly, Solution exists globally in case lambda is less than zero. And for bigger lambda, if lambda is one, for one dimension, uh, Levin and Sliman in 1997 
they construct the exact solution of lambda system. The formation form of the blow up solution is like this one. This solution blow up when T goes to this quantity. There is a more exact solution which blows in finite time for one dimension and lambda is equal to one. Here are the references. And how about when lambda is between zero and one, Hyungunga and Stevens and Velasquez prove that if lambda is between zero and two over three, and with periodic boundary condition, they show the the they show that uh, if initial data is suitably concentrated, then uh, solution blow up in infinite time. And conjecture that if lambda is bigger than two over three, uh, solution may blow up in finite time. In 2012, Stevens and Velasquez showed the asymptotic analysis when the lambda is between 2 over d plus 2 and 1, then radial symmetric solution blow up in finite time. And I am Kyungun Gang proved that if lambda, one minus lambda is bigger than chi, chi is the constant of chemotactic sensitivity constant, then solution exists globally. That means if lambda is smaller, then we can ensure the solution we can we can uh, we can extend the range of chi, which ensure the uh, global existence of solution. Right? And moreover, we we can show the upper boundary upper bound of the uh, solution with respect to t. The ideal proof is this a priori estimate. We can estimate this kind of thing by this one. Then we can easily find u over psi is bounded for all time. Then we have this kind of sublinear gross ODE, ODI. Then we can show V bounded for all time. And, and also, U is bounded all time, okay? And if perfect lambda is bigger than one, then for any dimension, if U0 is not identical to zero, then solution blow up in finite time. We define this kind of functional and eventually have this kind of superlinear gross ODI. Then we can show if this functional is not zero, then there is a blow up in finite time. Okay. The positivityness of this functional is sufficient to assume that uh, u0 is not identical to zero. So, when chi is less than or equal to one minus lambda, we get the global instance of solution. For this case, chi is bigger than one minus lambda, then we can show that 
there's no backward septimal solution. Here, phi and phi is weak solution of this kind of thing. And this equation is from this self-similar variable reform rating. Okay. So with this kind of assumption, we can show when alpha is rather than or equal to dimension, then the the weak formulation of the phi can be controlled very, very, very wrong calculation. We have this kind of bound. And so if capital R sent becomes large, then I1, I sub 1, and I sub 2, and I sub 3 goes to 0. Okay? And also, I sub 4 goes to this quantity. And since phi is non negative, so we conclude that phi is 0. And we skip this kind of calculation on Fusai. And let me consider this case. When alpha is between minus 2 and n, let q is bigger than n dimension. Then we can exactly construct this C1 test function and then plugging this thing to weak formulation. Okay. <coughs> then eventually we have this kind of bound. Since Q is less than N dimension, so this term vanishes as I goes to infinity. Okay. And so with the non-negativity of the left-hand side, we can conclude that phi, phi and psi is zero. Okay. So, so this is my, this is the end of my talk, and thank you for your attention.